Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give explanation on how to use if else in Capel programming. And yes, in the previous video, I have not named anything for the file. Yes, it's always a good practice to learn to sorry name whatever you are you dealing with. All right. So, so just I just named here. And again, uh, let's have a talk about this program mode sorry program node I'm sorry program node all right so if you click on this you'll, you'll see the configuration if you click on the configuration you can see what is the file name that is where the path with path it is mentioned and the modified date and time and here this information is not all right apart from that you can give compile from here and you can give edit debug comment show comment see now which show comment it is showing the name if I just give this then it is will not all right it's good to keep show comments so that you can see the name of the program node whatever you are using and block active so now the block is active all right so if you if you want to run this program the the block is active if you want to remove it see now it will be removed and you can copy paste and remove whatever you want you can do all right now I'll go with edit and just I'll just remove the previous one yeah now we'll start with new all right as I said in the previous video we can always have a good practice to declare the variables in the variable section variables block sometimes we call it as a variable section yeah uh, I can give like um, integer integer mm, a all right yeah it's enough integer a now on start just wanted to make it simple I just in this video is yes, as as I already said we are going to use the if else so how it will be all right if a is equal to give four then write the value of a is four sorry value of a is percentage D and A I'll give the one more curly brace it's a syntax else the value of A is is expected is not expected that is that is yes so why there is a error let's try to find it parse error okay if a is equal to Okay. Oh, sorry. For if you should not use a semicolon. All right. Yeah. Now it will be all right. Okay. Assignment in condition. Yes. Now it's perfect. All right, so let's come back with uh, double equals and single equal. But before that, we'll start with this. I'll just give start, sorry, save and give you, give the compile. Yes, it's compiled successfully. I'll just run this. See the value of A is expected, that is four. Now I, I'll give is, here I'll give, give 18 
and let's run this I'll give this sorry I'll give this compile and try to run the yes the value of a is not expected that is 18 all right I'll just stop it yes so here what is the usage of is equal to it is assigning a it is assigning a value all right so that's what the single equal to is and double equal to is just verifying what exactly it is all right so here it is a it is a predefined and here it is, can it is defined i mean for example this is just to check whether the particular value is is I mean you can it is kind of a verification right so if it is a age is equal to is equal to 18 that means so that the value is really um, put into the, the variable or not. The, the, I mean you can also put my words in another way that is this variable holds this value or not all right and this is assigning the assignment operator so this is how the if else works and here we are giving as on start maybe in the next video or in upcoming videos we'll use on key function also all right so it's very simple to just make you understand what is the how the if else works all right so it's very similar to c program i believe and if you have any questions as you are always welcome to get in touch with us we'll get back to you in the next video bye